you're an artist, your mind is always on, always on, always creating. There's always moments. And of course, there's moments where I do, you know, I will sketch or write something down, have an idea. And that's important because that's a process that leads up towards a painting. Art is an, you escape any type of art. It's, it's an échappatoire. It's somewhere where you take refuge from whatever is your normal life. I think I'm able to just dissect moments and put the little moments of those moments on each painting. You know, they're so individual where I can recognize my life on every one of them. It's, it's a tapestry that just evolves. For me, the colors were always important and I felt that when I was a teenager, it was hard for me to achieve because of the cheapness of the paint that I had. I could not get colors like this. And when we found some colors that were absolutely awesome, they were gold. In everything that I have ever done when it related to art, there was a light and darkness struggle. And even though the piece, uh, the, the abstracts I'm doing right now, there's a lot of colorful elements to it. If you keep looking at the painting for a while, you'll see the darkness into it, or you'll see the depth into it, and it'll bring you in. There's a strong, poetic, almost dreamlike sequence to this piece. These, these nodes of impact and invitation. And the one that catches my eye when you look at those is this shadowing of, that's mm -hmm. coming in on all of it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And should... like, what's leading what, right? It's like yeah. the... All, the light and dark conversation for sure, the shadow and the light, but it's it, is it light with shadow? Is it shadow with light? Is it, both and? Uh, almost a river-like flow to this painting as it moves through. Like, Fully I agree. can feel it. Fully agree. It's a beautiful in the purple, that royal purple female figure yes. comes through and then the joy and the light mm -hmm. follow behind and maybe that's the next step in that journey. And I love how Sylvain has juxtapose, if that's the conversation we're feeling right now, juxtapose both ends of the piece with what feels like um, ambiguity in question with these crossroads. It's a completely different world, even though some of the colors are consistent, but that mm -hmm. you get a whole new rhythm. You get right in here and you actually feel like you're looking at the reflection on a pond. Like, yeah, it looks like the canvas actually has texture and wave to it. And then it's got this stark piece of joyous color that comes through exactly what you would expect in a song. But the size here, there's something about the scale compared to the last piece we were looking it's true. at. Bigger periods of time that mm -hmm. may be being reflected. Mm -hmm. And there's these almost, like you look at the lines that are consistently throughout, sort of that everyday life. And then this next layer of color and possibility just pop off that canvas. Put some color on the path, on the ribbon, and then be honest too about how much hard work it takes, right? Like he's just so confident, um, I think, and raw and truth, true telling. Are you reading this canvas right to left? I am. Me too. Like the story goes this way the to me. The story goes yeah. this way. It's really interesting. I think it's because of the gravity with these, mm. like where we were talking about these linear lines going that way. And I feel like that's why I'm, to I'm drawn that way. Okay. Can we just go really literal for a second? Yeah. Do, you, do you see the baby elephant? <laughs> now that you've said baby <laughs> elephant, I, I can see it. But no, I, I wasn't there. The power of abstract, right? You can read it at this philosophical existential level. Well, that's one of the beauties of art is everybody sees something and maybe it's a little bit of themselves in every piece. Right. Just as the artist puts himself into the painting, it's funny how we pull ourselves in or out of them. Ooh. You know, there's clear connections to the last piece we looked at, but one of the things that really stands out on this piece is where we were looking at those ripples and the shading in what was like a river. Mm -hmm. But the shading, it really is intense or more intense in this piece. 
the innuendo is coming through a far stronger to me. Yeah, it's almost, I'm sensing, uh, you know, the artist's intention of disruption. Like there's much more agitation um, in the way that he's leveraging that shading, for sure. Well, and just in the shapes he's chosen to bring in and the sharp edges and the sharp pieces to it. Exactly, the angularity, right? And the crispness of that. The sense of muting as well, right? Like celebratory, but then let's, let's be honest about, about where, where at times it's been softened in our lives as well. Mm -hmm. Either intentionally by us, as the, in the intentionality of the artist, or maybe by an external force. And I find it interesting that he's only softened that one color and element there. But then you come down and he's had some very selective colors here and then there's this breadth of additional colors <laughs> that come through in these other pieces that come through. Yeah, it's a whole new episode, isn't it? The shading within the colors. But then he's done some unique bringing in these different layers within the dark. You know, it's a singular moment that's multi-dimensional, multi-faceted. Yeah. And then once again, the muting. But he's doing it within the dark this time, which is an interesting aspect as well. Mm -hmm. There's like a mature subtlety about that, hey? That the struggle becomes more nuanced, the conversation becomes more nuanced. And when you talk about the evolution elements, mm -hmm. this cross is in the dark central focus, but then you come into this piece and the crossroad is this beautiful, bright color. It's a passionate element. Sometimes we get that crossroad in our life. You have a passion point, which way am I gonna go? Either way is good. And I really, it pulls me through because it's so complex. I almost want to leap back. It feels like a heart explosion. Right? Yeah. Like in this passion place, just that vibrancy, those those colors. You feel like the right colors. <laughs> yeah. And just some of the decisions he's made in this piece, mm. when we look in here, like the way he's transitioned and faded through with the airbrushing. I feel his heart on a canvas, truly. 